Hi everybody, welcome to the episode of Widgets and Wonders. This is my show, I'm about great products from small companies. Now today, we're gonna take a look at a new set of mats from GameMat.eu. Um, and there's something a little bit different. Instead of being a single design, these mats are double-sided. Uh, they give you two styles of mats so that you can change up your games in between games um, and offer you a great variety for when you're um, basically wanting to change the setting of what you're playing, or um, if you're looking to get a little bit more value for your money because they are a bit cheaper than buying two individual mats. Um, so right now I've got two different designs here, one that's more sci-fi and one that's more sort of either uh, medieval or just generic actually. It could be uh, used for medieval games, historical games, generic games, whatever. It's more of a natural kind of mat um, and it's reverse size, has some man-made features. So we'll show you those uh, and you can check in with some models on them and I'll give you examples of these two new double-sided mats from GameMat.eu. So here's the first of the two double-sided mat. This is the Highlands in War um, design. You can see here it's typical quality for game mat. Uh, nice crisp printing details, a nice sort of like lush uh, grasslands for this one. I've just taken them out of the bags. So this is gonna settle in a minute, this little edging right here, um, and go flat. Uh, and the reverse side is Forgotten Realms. So you can see it here with some of my ogres for Kings of War uh, and some of my Greenleaf Terrain Forest here set up on it. It's a nice lush mat, great for your mass battle games, but it'll also work for any kind of historicals like bolt action. This could easily be used for uh, a Normandy sort of like countryside or whatever with your train on it. Um, the details are a bit sized, so you can see here the bushes are a bit big, um, but it's not too specific, so you could do multiple scales on it as well. And the other side, which I'll reverse for you right now and show to you, is going to be this one, which is the Forgotten Realms. And so here you see the Forgotten Realms mat. It's a bit more sepia toned, um, slightly less bright than the uh, the green one, of course. Uh, of course, this is rolled the other way, so now it lays completely flat the first time around because it's just the way it was is carried in the bag. I will say um, some things I've noticed about the double-sided mats, they're on slightly less thick neoprene than they were, but it's because they have two layers of fabric um, permeated onto them, and that means that they're a bit heavier uh, than the other mats simply because there's two layers of fabric instead of one, that's the heaviest part of the, the neoprene being uh, full of air bubbles, of course, it's lighter material than the, the fabric itself. Um, and this is the same design as the Forgotten Realms Mat Third Normals. These are two previous designs. Uh, they both look great. Um, and this is more useful for maybe, if you want to play Mordheim, if you want to play like World War II, so this would be great for like a Normandy village. Um, if you put some Normandy buildings into it um, or wherever in sort of like the European front. Uh, or you could play, again, Kings of War, Warhammer Fantasy Battle, Age of Sigmar. I've played all of them on this type of mat um, and it works fantastic. It has some cobblestone runes on it. Again, you wouldn't want to, the scale for this one, you probably want to keep around 28 mil because the cobbles are pretty large for the roads themselves. Uh, but it does look really, really good and the detail is nice and crisp. So same printing quality. Uh, I will say that uh, it is a little bit heavier than the previous ones, but of course it's still less heavy than carrying two mats. Um, and it comes with a nice shoulder bag, um, just like all the game mat mats do, uh, to store and keep this guy in. So yeah, if you're looking to save yourself a couple bucks, uh, and this is the first one, this is the, I would say generic one, you can use it for fantasy games, historical games. I mean, 40K could be played on just as easily, um, but this is the Grasslands. It's the Forgotten Realms and Badlands at War. So this next pair of mats, uh, this right here, Fallout Zone in six x four, might be one of my favorite gang mats of all time. I've used it for everything from 40K to this is not a test, um, upcoming to use for the Fallout game itself for Eden. It's a beautiful mat, wonderful designs. Um, and I actually, it was the first mat that I ever personally owned um, for 40K. The first mat I ever owned was her Infinity, it was a micro art mat, but this was the first six foot mat I ever owned. And when, um, I, when this one came in, I actually took the original one I had, the six foot one, and I cut it into a four foot mat for Dark Age and two two foot mats to use in Fallout um, and Eden coming up as well. So it's funny, I now technically have five of this exact same mat in different sizes and it is easily one of my favorite mats. It's beautiful design, wonderful colors. Um, you can see it here with some 40K trains, some Vegas weapon batteries, an Imperial Knight and an Astropath for scale. Um, but it's just, a, it's got a real rich color to it. This new printing is really nice too. Uh, I would say that this, um, it might be the mine's a bit faded just because it's old, but this one's very, very, very rich color. Even the concrete here has this wonderful like tea stain to it almost. Uh, and then reverse the other side is my, one of my favorite new uh, tech mats, which is the Imperial base. So you've got a grungy, grim, dark sci-fi on one side uh, and a more sort of like light, colored on the other side. Um, and I'll show you this one in a second, but this is gonna be great for a few games coming up and is already fantastic for Infinity. And so here's the blue Imperial base uh, tech mat. Um, I call these tech mats because they're a little more sci-fi than the other ones, but you could still easily use this 40K. In fact, I just used it the other day um, for a 40K game on a slightly more sort of like, 
I guess, progressive industrial world. Um, I'm really stoked to use this actually in Star Wars Legion. Uh, I think it looks perfect uh, for like the landing interior of like a Star Destroyer um, or the inside of a rebel base or something like that. And I'm kind of jazzed for that because it means I might go buy some 28 mil Star Wars, like things like X-Wings and stuff to use this terrain. Um, and all the barricades and stuff that come inside the uh, Star Wars Legion box, I think are gonna look great print up on this. So I think this mat is gonna become a favorite really early on for doing um, that game in particular. And I'm pretty, pretty stoked for it. That and all the desert mats for Tatooine. <laughs> it works great for Infinity. And the reason it works great for Infinity is, as you'll notice, there are no roads. Um, so you can place your buildings kind of wherever you want. Um, there isn't a lot of pre-measurement details on here that give you exact distances. Uh, and your train looks great on it kind of no matter what. If you mask off two feet on this side, you just get like a great bunch of open spaces. If you mask out two feet on this side, um, you get kind of like some pod containment areas and some cool stuff in the middle. So it is fantastic. I have a four foot one that we use for Infinity all the time. It quickly became one of mine, Owen's. Um, favorite event maps so we take it to the events the tournaments and stuff and throw a train down on it and no matter what train on it, we put on it it would look great because it doesn't have a lot of sort of like pre-existing detail and everything looks good on it everywhere so there it is with my yodum um my aquila guard uh and another tag the um squalo and a uh what is it a sierra drawn bot just to give you some examples of scale and stuff for the details so uh same caveats go for this one as go for the other ones which i said badlands right it's actually the highlands at war um and forgotten realms is the uh the thickness of the, uh, and you can see actually this one's been, I've used this one all day today, so it's, it's blank perfectly flat on both sides. Um, the, uh, the thickness of the uh, neoprene is a bit thinner, and of course two layers of fabric, I mean that it doesn't have quite the scrunchiness, the rolliness of the other ones. Um, it is a little bit heavier, but once again, of course, it is not nearly as heavy as carrying around two gaming mats. Um, so there you go, six feet by four feet, two different mats, but four mats in total from gamemat.eu, two new double-sided mats. And there you have it, another great product from a small company. Um, you can check the links in the video description below so you can check out uh, all of these double-sided mats from Game Mat. So now, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and if you do know of a great product from a small company that deserves more attention, you can have them email me at girlministrygames at gmail.com or Facebook message me at facebook.com slash out of the basement into the streets, and I'll do my best to get in, uh, in touch with them or uh, put them in front of as many people as possible. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time for more Widget Wonders. To the Mash, I'm working. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. My live shows are on Mondays at 2 p.m. Eastern time, uh, typically, unless I notify otherwise. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs, um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible, uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else, and most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future, who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and, of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.